Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to school. It's the 1st of February, and uh, I have the great uh, honor and privilege of welcoming back our grade nought to, to seven boys. Um, it is absolutely wonderful to have you back here on the campus, uh, and I look forward to seeing you uh, really getting involved in your schooling, in your academics, and some of your exercise activities in the sporting field. Um, I want to thank the parents for the way they dropped the boys off this morning. It was a smooth operation. Um, I know it will only get better and better. And um, I encourage the boys to, to take ownership of their belongings as they alight from their, from their vehicles and move swiftly uh, to the screening um, stations. I thought you did outstandingly well, gentlemen, this morning, so continue to do so, and um, well done. This morning's assembly is a special assembly uh, for Founders Day uh, and celebrating our birthday. And I hope that you enjoy this assembly that I have prepared for you. Uh, thank you for joining me. A birthday is a wonderful thing, and here at WIPS, we celebrate our birthday in the form of Founders Day. and. Um, it's a special occasion when we look back at the past and we celebrate uh, and we give thanks for all the people who have been involved in this wonderful school and the preparation of the foundation that we have today. It's an opportunity to reconsider and, and uh, take stock of oneself and have a look at how we're doing at the moment and to plan for the future. So Founders Day is a very special event. We want to make it special for the boys and girls of WIPS and, uh, and tomorrow is our birthday, the 2nd of February. And so we look forward to celebrating this opportunity uh, with all the children of WIPS, uh, staff, parents and the council. If we look back on the past, it was January the 29th in uh, the Pretoria News um, stating that the school Brooklyn House Preparatory School for Boys would be opening on Friday, February the 2nd. Now, it's interesting that two brothers, two twin brothers, Frederick and Ernest Ruddle, uh, were opening a school here in Pretoria, and they called it uh, Brooklyn House Preparatory School. It was on the corner of Mackenzie and Alexander Street, and it opened on that day with 12 day boys and two boarders. The interesting thing for me was days before um, the opening, it rained nonstop. And once again, this year uh, in January, we've had an enormous amount of rain. The difference was in those days, uh, the roads around Whips were not tarmac, but uh, dirt roads. And of course, there was great worry by the, the heads of school, both the Ruddle brothers, um, both Captain Ernest Ruddle and Frederick Ruddle. Uh, their concern was that the parents would get stuck uh, in the quagmire of, of the mud. Now, I'm going to be looking at certain aspects of uh, our school. Um, and I'm looking particularly at people who have made this contribution to our school. And we have recognized them by naming different uh, houses or fields or swimming pools after them. Now, I'm not doing all um, uh, the, the different areas otherwise i'd keep you for far too long but the first honor befalls on the ruddle brothers our founders and um, our house ruddle house was named after them now obviously these two um, gentlemen and their families were very involved in the school and um, made a significant contribution to whips as it is today um, the ruddle brothers are also recognized in the library, the RLLC. Um, the Ruddle Library um, was part of an important uh, cornerstone of our learning in our school. Um, and so it is important to remember the Ruddle Brothers every time you shout for your house or you even drive into the school, the road that you come in is called Ruddle Street. Um, and, and so a wonderful legacy was left behind by these two brothers. Um, they did change the name when they moved uh, in 1924. Uh, they moved into the new building here. So for 1923, they moved to 
they ran the school as Brooklyn Preparatory School in, uh, in Brooklyn, in Alexander and Mackenzie Street. Um, they weren't happy with, the, with the, the building and it didn't have electricity. And so they were able to start building here on our present site. And um, they certainly are our founding fathers and they built the foundation for which we have been able to build upon. Then Captain Ruddle's wife was Molly Carter, and her, her maiden name was Molly uh, was Carter. And um, Molly Carter was um, a cornerstone of our school. She was extremely kind and caring for the boys, and she um, really made a special effort to get to know boys and educate them well. And, and, and showed the motherly love that the boys needed. Um, Mrs., uh, Mrs. Ruddle um, had a brother who then started um, Woodridge uh, Prep in just outside Port Elizabeth. Um, so the Carter family uh, was entrenched in education in our country. And um, Woodridge has now grown in, from a prep school into a college as well. And uh, we have a lot of good relations with, with Woodridge and we play a lot of sports against them. So that's Carter House's founding uh, person. She was Molly, Molly Ruddle and a very important person here in the early days of WIPS. Now another um, teacher who taught here for a long time, uh, from 1927 to 1950, that's 23 years, um, was Miss Megas Lloyd. She was affectionately called Ma Lloyd by the boys, and, and she was somebody who reportedly was an outstanding uh, boys specialist teacher. She prepared our boys for their high schools, and um, the high schools were particularly um, fussy about the quality of academic education and how the boys uh, conducted themselves and, and certainly performed in the classroom. And uh, Miss Lloyd was a stickler uh, for preparing the boys well academically. Um, she really served our school in the early days um, extremely well. And hence, um, the, the Lloyd House was called after her. Um, after uh, uh, Mr. McRobert left, uh, Wolf McRobert bought uh, this, um, um, this uh, school in 1948 uh, with the help of his father. Um, and Wilfred McRobert then put in place a headmaster to, uh, he felt that he was too young at 28 years old to be the headmaster. And he put in place um, Dudley Gower as the headmaster. Um, Mr. Gower ran the school for, for two years before uh, Mr. McRobert took over in 1950, uh, and he uh, led the school from 1950 to 1968. It's interesting um, that an enormous amount is owed to uh, Mr. McRobert. He um, is the person who built, uh, built many um, uh, developments in the school. He, progressed the school in many ways, both culturally on the sports field and academically. And um, um, he is recognized by having a house named after him, and that is McRobert House. Now, the interesting thing that I was um, intrigued by, that uh, before 1947, the four school houses were different to the current houses. They were called Scott, Kingsley, Dickens and Stevenson. And it intrigued me that there was a change. In 1947, Mr. Gower and Mr. McRobert decided uh, that the boys were spread too thin over the different houses. So you had uh, grade uh, one boys and grade two boys playing with grades against grade seven boys. So they decided to have two houses. Uh, the numbers were small in the school, and they decided that they would start with. Ruddle after the um, Ruddle brothers and Carter after Molly, Molly Ruddle, Molly Carter was her maiden name. 
Then in 1953, Mr. McRobert, who was then the headmaster, included a third house, and he called that house Lloyd House after Ma Lloyd. And finally, after um, Wolf McRobert and his wife Marion um, left, uh, McRobert House was started as the fourth house of whips. And these remain our schoolhouses to this day. Now, there are a number of other um, places and, and fields around whips that have been named after significant people. And our bottom field is named after Mr. McRobert Sr., that's Will's father. Um, and it was called Pop's Field after he was uh, affectionately known as Pop McRobert. And um, Norman McRobert was a person who gave generously uh, in many ways, especially financially uh, in the early days when he uh, helped his son buy the school. And um, it was in grateful recognition for his services to Whips. But also, this was the site that um, Pops McRobert actually uh, supervised the, the, the flattening of the field, the fertilizing, and um, as well as uh, he oversaw the planting of the field. Now, um, we are privileged to have Pops Field. Um, you will, might want to go and have a look at the tennis courts as well. There's a plaque there that uh, uh, um, uh, recognizes the, the contribution that Norman McRobert made, um, where those courts are named after him in his memory. Um, another special place in our school is the Learn to Swim uh, swimming pool. And this pool is named after Mr. Manlala. Um, Jim Manlala arrived at Whips in interesting circumstances in 1928. And he served our school all the way to 1980. That's some 52 years of loyal and dedicated service. The wonderful thing about Jim Manala um, was that he was a man who, who took initiative. And when the memorial gates were built, he recognized the danger of the boys being picked up by their parents in what was then called Charles Street. Now, that was the entrance to our school where the memorial gate was. And, um, Jim Fish, as he was uh, later nicknamed and called uh, affectionately, was the person who ensured that every boy got into his parents' car and was able to then take them home. Now, the, the thing about uh, Jim Fish, the, the legend is, is that uh, whenever he was asked what was for lunch um, on a Friday at Whips, he would always say, Fish! And so, the boys started to nickname him uh, Jim Fish. And so the Jim Fish Manlala swimming pool, the Learn to Swim pool, uh, is pride of place and it's named after Mr. Manlala. And um, it's a, a wonderful tribute to a person who has served this school magnificently for some 52 years. Another long serving member of our school is Mr. Doran Herringer. Mr. Mr. Herringer started here at Whips in 1974, and he started as a teacher and a housemaster. He became the, head, the deputy headmaster here at Whips, and then um, he was appointed as headmaster in 2003 uh, until 2009. And of course, our top field is named after this gentleman's wonderful service to Whips. Uh, some 35 years of service, and our top field is, is called Herringer Field. The latest naming in our school was for our boarding house. Our boarding house never had a name, um, and um, our headmaster from 1981 to 1989 was Patrick Hamilton. And Mr. Hamilton is a charismatic man. He uh, was an amazing headmaster. And he certainly built and grew the school uh, in a relatively short time. Mr. Hamilton um, is well respected um, throughout educational circles. 
And we are very proud to be able to have called our boarding house Hamilton House. Um, Mr. Hamilton still visits the school on a regular basis, and he is often reminded that he was uh, the head boy here when he was at school and also a captain of the first team cricket. A very talented sportsman uh, is Mr. Hamilton, and uh, we certainly enjoy the fact that he agreed to allowing us to uh, name Hamilton House after him. Now, today I want to uh, not only recognize the fact that it's our birthday tomorrow, our Founders Day, but I also want to recognize that we are welcoming you boys back uh, onto the campus. We've been lucky enough to have the Whippets here, enjoying the school uh, while um, the rest of you boys have been um, online. Um, I have enjoyed chatting to the boys as they returned this morning and without fail, the boys said they certainly enjoyed the new uh, online uh, format, the streaming of lessons, but they much prefer to be back at school. So I, I, I agree. I welcome each and every one of you back. Um, it is absolutely fantastic to see you here at school. In conclusion, I'd now like to ask you to all bow your heads in prayer. Lord, we give you praise for your guiding hand over our school for 98 years. We give thanks to those who have gone before us in this place of learning, play and worship. Our forefathers have set the tone with our values, work ethic and sense of fair play. We hold up those who enabled us to enjoy our current traditions and school culture of appreciation, courage, integrity, passion, respect and responsibility. We thank you, Lord, for the love, blessings, and compassion you have showered upon our school, Whips, and our Whipsian family. As we celebrate our 98th birthday, we give thanks for our current boys, parents, staff, and council. They are welcomed into our family to be part of this fine school and the brotherhood which exists as part of our extended Whips family. Lord God, we pray to be able to continue to create an environment of belonging and inclusion for all Whipsians. In this way, we will show the humanity of respect for all the members of our family. In this, we pray that all those who teach and those who learn may be guided to do thy will always. We ask this in your son's name, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Boys, I hope that you celebrate our birthday with great vigor and enjoyment tomorrow. To our whippets, the boys and girls there, I know that you will celebrate in a fine style that I always see such happiness in the whippets. Ultimately, this school is 98 years old. And as I have said, we are so grateful for the people that have gone before. But as we go and look at our traditions, we need to be mindful of including all in our celebrations. And that means that our parents and our council members who unfortunately can't be on the school will be included in our wishes for our birthday, the 98th birthday. Ultimately, I want to say to you, thank you for the support that you give our school and thank you for the care that you show to each and every member of this Whipsian family. I wish you a happy birthday and best wishes from me. Thank you.